In this video, we'll learn how to build the conic from four meshes using the in-panel model builder. Although you can draw the initial fixed point structure for a conic by hand, it's quite tedious, so we'll use the model builder, found right here. In order to do this, we'll go to the model builder options. Click on Draw Conic and look at the model dimensions. For this example, we'll set the base width to 10 meters, the ring diameter to 1, and the model height to 3. Under the default mesh settings, the insurf and msurf are set to 13 and the number of meshes is at 4. For this example, we'll leave those values as they are. Of course, all of these values are just example values and you can adjust any of them as needed and use your own unit system. Now we'll run the model builder tool. The Rhino text window asks us to specify an insertion point. Once we do that, a prototype conic model will be drawn with four meshes and 3D polys for the top ring and the base. Let's put this in orbit and get a better look at it. So here we have our conic made of these four meshes and these polylines. We'll form find the correct shape for this model using the Relax Joined Edge Meshes tool. Let's go to the options for that tool. With conics, we generally want to use a variable warp stress, so we'll check that box. And you can always alter the overall shape of the model by altering the weft warp stress ratio. For this example, we'll go with a weft warp stress ratio of 1. Click OK. And now we'll select the entire model and relax it using the Relax Joined Edge Meshes tool. When we delete our old mesh, we can see how our new relaxed conic has smoothly integrated our original four meshes. Sometimes you may want to have more than one conic joined together. In order to do that, what we'll do is make a copy of this model here and put it right next to the original. To do that, let's first straighten this one out a little bit. Under Transform, click on Copy. Then select the entire conic model and push Enter to finish copying. Now, the Rhino text window is asking us to select a point to copy from, and that will be this bottom right hand corner, and then a point to copy to, which will be this bottom left hand corner. Once we do that, we have two conic models exactly the same, exactly beside each other. What we're going to do is relax these together. So let's select them both and then click Relax Joined Edge Meshes. Now when we delete our old mesh, we can see how these two conics have been relaxed together and their inner seams are now joined. Notice the shape of the saddle between the two conics. Another thing you can do is alter the fixed points of this model in order to suit your specific design requirements. For instance, we can move the two right-hand points in order to get a different model width on the right-hand side. To do that, we'll first click on the Points On tool in Rhino, select the entire model, and click Enter in order to turn the mesh nodes on. Now we're going to pull the polyline and the corner nodes of the two adjoining meshes out to a new position. Let's start with the polyline. We'll grab so specify that we're selecting the polyline rather than the mesh and then we'll grab the corner and pull it out to about here. Now we'll select the corner of one of the adjoining meshes specify that we're selecting the mesh point and we'll pull it out to that same position and snap it to the polyline. Now we'll select the other mesh point and also pull it out. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom right hand corner. We start with the polyline, pull it out so that it's right under our top point, then select each individual mesh point, snap it to the polyline, And now we have these two new corners. We'll now turn the mesh nodes off by clicking the escape key. And then we'll select our entire model 
and relax it again using the Relax Cable Edges tool. After we've done that, let's delete our old mesh and we can see how the entire mesh has been pulled out to these new corners. So that's one way of altering the shape of your model. Sometimes you may need fixed edges instead of cable edges. We can specify fixed edges during the original model construction on the options page. Let's go into the model builder options, click on draw conic, and then check the fixed edges box right here. Let's click OK. And then we'll hit the model builder and it asks us to specify an insertion point. When we do that, we suddenly have a new conic with fixed edges. And when we relax that using the joined edge meshes relax, we can see how this model as opposed to our earlier models clearly has these fixed edges instead of cable edges. The mesh is pulled out to the polyline all the way around. In order to specify individual fixed edges, we can use the model builder tool Fix Mesh Edges to draw in a 3D poly that will define the fixed edge. Let's say that we wanted the mesh on the far left hand side to be a fixed edge mesh. In order to do this, we would first select the mesh and the 3D polyline, and then we would go to the model builder and run the Fix Mesh Edges tool. We delete our old mesh, and then we'd select the model and relax it again. This will pull all of the mesh nodes out to that new polyline, giving us a fixed edge on the left hand side. We're now finished with our exercise, and we've learned how to build and form find a conic, as well as how to adjust fixed points and add fixed edges. Thank you.